Hey guys, it's Brie. So I'm afraid I'm still really sick at the moment and I've got a thumping headache today. But I'm going to try and get this video done. It's also baking hot in the UK at the moment, which means it's only like 25 degrees Celsius, but still. Um, I've written down a couple of the main things about this video because this video is going to be on my Baltic Amber necklace. A ton of you have been asking me about this and why I'm wearing it, what does it do and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go over the basics today. Um, it's Baltic Amber and Baltic Amber is actually a fossil and not a stone unlike many people think it to be. Um, and it's been used for thousands of years as a type of pain reliever. It's, it's a natural pain reliever. Um, I was willing to try it as well because it has been used for thousands of years. It's not a new thing that's just come about that people have started thinking of. People have been doing this for centuries. Um, so I was really keen to try it because I thought if people have been using it for centuries, there's got to be some reason why they're doing that. Um, so as I said before, I've just written down a couple of the main things. And the first thing I'm going to say is the reason why this is, that we now know that this can be a natural pain reliever, is because Baltic Amber contains something called succinic or succinct acid. Um, this is the natural pain reliever and it's released from the amber when it's placed against your skin. The warmth of your skin um, heats up the amber and the oils, it releases the succinic acid as the oil and it goes into your skin. Um, Baltic amber necklaces are often used as teething necklaces, even though you're not supposed to let your toddler put them between their teeth because Baltic amber is quite brittle. Um, you can let them wear it around their neck and as long as they don't bite it, the way it works is, as I said before, the succinic acid sinks in through the skin and helps them with teething. Some of the benefits to Baltic Amber is not just that it's a natural pain reliever, it can also help boost your immune system, it can help with uh, bringing your body to a more alkaline, what's the word, pH, instead of an acidic pH, which you want it to be more alkaline, it can help, as I said before, boost your immune system, boost your energy levels, there's, there's lots of good things to it, you just got to do your research really. One of the big facts that's known about Baltic Amber is that the lighter the colour of amber, the more succinic acid it contains. I have a, an amber anklet as well, which I'm just going to take off here. Um, and I have broken one of the bits of amber off of this. I was had it around my right ankle, which seems to be skinnier than my left ankle, but I didn't realise this at first, because I always wear anklets on my right ankle. And I was just walking and I hit it and it pinged off, but um, it still works now, and I've put it onto my left leg, which it fits much better for some reason. So this is the Butterscotch, I believe, colourway, and this is... I think it's called Raw Honey, but I call it more of a caramel colour, and it's the one that I like the most. Um, I didn't know about the succinic acid levels when I got this, which is why I was kind of annoyed when I first ordered it. Um, this one, my mum got me as a surprise because I said I'd like a really light coloured amber so that it has the most succinic acid in it. Um, mum got for me a surprise off of Love Amber X, I think. And this I bought myself, what well, she paid for, but I ordered it from a Facebook seller. String a rainbow and she custom made it for me. It's 45 centimetres long. So the clasp is a screw-on clasp and I put it here on purpose because it's really hard to find half the time. I have to be looking at it like this. Um, but it's a screw-on clasp because when you've got it for toddlers, they don't, you don't want them to be able to pull it off. So instead of having a metal clasp, it's got this little kind of screw bit. So you screw it in together like this. She says. There we go. And it's really strong. And it's also knotted in between each piece of amber. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So it's knotted in between each amber, and this is so that if by some chance the uh, Baltic amber necklace does break, you don't get amber spewing all over the floor, you don't have to worry about your kids choking on it. So they really do think of everything when they um, started these out. So a big question, does it work? Um, for adults, you're supposed to leave this on for three weeks before you would see anything, and you wear it 24-7. Um, except when you're having a bath or a shower or when you're putting lotion on, it can't get any other oils or get wet because it's really brittle and it can't break as I showed you before with this one. I've only had this for about two and a half weeks now, but as I said before, you guys have been bugging me for ages and I wanted to wait for longer to do this video, but I'm going to do a quick one, well, quick-ish one now explaining it, and I'll do an update in a few months' time when I've had longer to try it out. But anyway, I got this on the 31st of April, and I've no idea what the day is today. Anyway, about a week after I got it, I went to the orthodontist, because I had braces, as you can see, and I went to get my braces tightened. Um, so I was not thinking of anything to do with this at that point, because I only had it on for a week, and I thought, you know, I'm going to have to wait for three weeks before I even start thinking about noticing anything about it. Anyway, so I had my braces tightened, and the first thing I noticed was the day after I got my braces tightened, I was biting into chocolate. Those of you who have braces will know you cannot bite into chocolate the day after you've had your braces tightened, because your teeth are killing. You're basically sucking on your food and swallowing it down before you, without chewing it, because your teeth hurt so much. 
But I was biting into chocolate and I've never done that before and I've had my braces on for what, two years now? So I've had it tightened numerous times, I know how painful it can be. But with this at Volta Camera I did barely notice it, didn't need any pain medication. I did have a little bit of pain, and as I said I'd only had it on for a week by that point. But it was totally bearable, wasn't uncomfortable in any way. I could eat my food like normal. It was, it was quite, I was quite staggered to be honest because it only been on for a week. But I do think I'm quite a petite person so maybe the Baltic Amber, the stenic acid had had a good chance to fit in. And I'd got this two days before I got this necklace as I said. I got some on the Monday and this came on the Wednesday. And I've been wearing it non-stop. So I said before you've got to leave it on all the time. One of the things I was worried about with it was, was I going to notice it when I was sleeping? Honestly, I can't even tell. I forget I'm wearing it. You know, I can't feel it. It's really, really light actually. They feel almost plasticky but they're definitely legit. Um, and there are certain ways you can tell whether they're good quality, the real Baltic Amber and not cheap Amber. The first way is to look at the Amber itself. There should be a difference in colour very slightly on all of them. Also little bits in the Amber itself. Let's see if I can get the focus. In the Amber itself. You can see they differ in colour slightly. That's a good way to tell that the Baltic Amber is genuine because no two bits of Amber are exactly the same. And it's mined and it's, as I said before, it's a fossil from I think thousands of years. It's a tree resin as well. Haven't done a lot of research into it, to be honest. But yes, my teeth was the first example I had for it. Uh, the next thing I did was basically my period. So I the, I don't really get PMS, but the only premenstrual symptom I do get is cramping a few days before. I don't get emotional or anything. Um, I just get a couple of weird, like, one-off, ooh, like, cramps. Not not dying cramps, but just every now and then, like, well, it's really uncomfortable kind of cramping um, the few days before I get that. But last Saturday, today's Sunday when I'm filming it, so not yesterday, but the day before, but last week, um, I went to dancing as usual, did two hours of dancing, and I took my necklace and my ankle off, because otherwise they bounce around and they annoy the hell out of me. Um, and I put them back on again, and I got in the car, and I had this this wave of cramping, I thought, oh, you know, that's, that's the start of the cramps for the week, because um, I... I Got my ovulation pain a few the day after I got this necklace, and so it was only about a week and a half later. So I thought it couldn't possibly be my period, but I must have just had some uh, pain after I'd ovulated before a couple of days after I'd ovulated because I went home, and about an hour later I went to the toilet and I looked down, and on my panty on it there was blood, and I was literally shocked because I have never ever since I switched to cloth, had no idea when my period's coming. I was I was stunned because I had, as I said, I had no indication it was coming. I was complete. I was just in shock. I stared at this pantaline for ages, thinking, "What? Seriously?" And I put my necklace on immediately. And the, it, ironically, I'd had a bath just an hour before that, after to get the sweat off me from dancing. And I thought, "Oh, I don't need to put my magnesium flakes in yet. I'm not. My period's not due for a few days." And uh, well, it was it was there. Um, and I have to say, this is the first period for over a year, and you know I've had painful periods if you follow me for a while, um, but this is the first period I've had that I haven't had to take any medication for. I haven't taken any paracetamol, any Nurofen, the only thing I wore, took was um, magnesium, a magnesium supplement, and I wore this. But magnesium is natural, you know, it's for, you can get it from the sea. So I wasn't bothered about taking magnesium at all, you know, you, that's a fundamental thing you need in your body. And I went through my whole period with that. And ironically, the most painful day for me was day number four, which usually the first day is painful for me, but I was stunned. Because this had only been two weeks after, if that, after I'd started wearing this necklace, so I think maybe that pain on the fourth day might go next month or something, I don't know, which is why I'm going to make an update, because I'm still kind of shocked by how well this worked and I think, I don't know if it was a fluke or anything so I, I want to check it but I thought I would do this video to tell you guys about this Baltic Amber necklace that I have and um, just to say uh, so far so good and I will definitely be getting this for my children after seeing what it did for my teeth I can definitely recommend you try it out um, like I said the lighter the colour the more cystic acid it contains but I know people who use the darkest one which is I think called cherry for some weird reason it's it's virtually black and they their children have managed to teeth fine with it Maybe doesn't make all the pain go away, but it definitely helps, and that is certainly something. So I hope this was useful to you, and hopefully it answered your questions as to why I was wearing this. So, Also, I forgot to mention, I have costochondritis, if you saw my video several weeks ago. Just go back and look at my videos, the one that says, in hospital again. Um, I was diagnosed with costochondritis again, and uh, it's an inflammation of your rib cage where you get, like, bristly bits of inflammation uh, growing on your ribs, and your lungs catching them, and it's very, very painful. And I uh, haven't had any chest pain since I started wearing this because I said it can actually help with inflammation, that's another thing it can help with. So there's, there's a lot of advantages to Baltic Amber, but I definitely recommend you go and look them up and perhaps invest in one. This was £22.50 I think, plus £2.50 shipping, and this was custom so it might cost a bit more. And then this was £12.50 for my anklet. 
Uh, I actually noticed the anklet more than I noticed the necklace, which I was really surprised about because I'm used to wearing anklets, but I really like wearing it. It's kind of cute, and uh, yeah, I wear it 24-7. Both of these 24-7, except when I have a bath or a shower. And I honestly don't notice it half the time, and I think it's really cool. So hopefully that answered your question. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like me on Facebook, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.